You know, eating a balanced diet means having a cookie in both hands. Oh, that is what it means. <laughs> not- Got to balance it. <laughs> yes, Jeffrey. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Okay. And you won't know where our hands are or what's in them while we go around sharing oh. what what's happening in our personal okay. lives. I can see my hands right yeah. now. For what's on your mind. I'm going to show you mine. <laughs> Alexis is out today, but we're going to start things off with Brooke. Brooke, <laughs> what's on your mind? Oh, man. You okay, know. Okay, put your fake cookie hands down. <laughs> Brooke is holding cookies. imaginary cookies. Okay, well. Uh, What's on your mind, Brooke? <laughs> you know I love to hire anyone who comes to my doorstep. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've bought steaks from a random meat seller. <laughs> yes. mm. I, you know, the list goes on. Girl Scout cookies can run yeah, up. Yeah, absol- absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so there's a sweet man who came to my door and wanted to give me an estimate to clean out my gutters. Oh, it's Is this some sort of weird you. euphemism because I'm not liking it? <laughs> Are you shirtless? Are you I sure? Like to clean the gutters, man. I wish. No. <laughs> she said oh, I, I wish. Wait a minute. He's like, it'll be a great accent. He's like, it'll be seventy-five dollars for each side. Oh, okay. And I'm like, okay, cool. A that week later, yeah, my husband's essence. like, hey, we need the gutters cleaned. I'm like, well, let me tell you, I know hey, a guy. Oh wow. I have a guy. I mean, yeah. I don't really know him. He's a total stranger that just knocked on our door. <laughs> But I have his number. You do have a hookup, though. Like, it's meant to be. Oh, but every time it just bites me in the ass. So, Uh-oh. I hire him. Oh, God. Okay. First, he pulls up in a Dodge Charger. Okay? Not what, what's, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, not a what's wrong with Dodge Chargers? A He's a roof guy. He should Some, have a truck. Or... Somehow managed to pull a 20-foot ladder out of the trunk of this thing. How? It was like a clown car. That's impressive. It Whoa. was, right? Okay. Comes up, and he first tells me, I'm really sick. I do not feel good right oh, now. And I'm like, well, Why'd you should, say yes? should you be here? Yeah. I like back up, try to keep my distance. Uh, Don't get me sick. And dude. I'm like, he's like, yes, I can do the work. I'm like, oh, okay, if you're up for it. Yeah. Right. So about a half an hour in, I see him outside smoking at his car. And I'm like, oh. wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I'm continuing to take a break. Take a break, okay. Yeah, but smoking when he's sick. Yeah, that make yeah. It I think I, it, it like clears up your lungs. Yeah, I, yeah, it cleans out all the oh, toxins. Oh, that's smart. He okay. finishes his 15-minute break. Yeah. Then about five minutes later, I get a knock on the door. And he's <laughs> he's at the door, and he's asking for a bag of ice. And I'm like, what? what? What do you need ice for? Uh-oh. And he looks visibly in pain. Yeah. He just slammed his hand in the trunk of his car, oh. and he's not sure if his fingers are broken. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no bro. Poor guy. So I'm like, yeah. So I go get the poor man a bag of ice, and he goes, no, I need water in it too. And oh, I'm like, oh, okay. okay I'll put I'll put water in it. So I go back, I redo the bag of ice. Also, if you could mix some vodka in there too, yeah, yeah. that's gonna help. And I said, well, you don't have to stay. Again, you. you you could do this later. Yeah, come back in and two he's days. like, no, like... I got it. I'm sick. I have a broken <laughs> oh hand. I'm going to finish the job. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't finish the job. Oh. So he leaves. He leaves his ladder there. About, leaves the ladder. Yeah. A week later, he texts me and asks me for $100 because oh, he okay. needs gas money. Oh. So I give him that. Oh. <laughs> totally unrelated to the job. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then, you guys, point. three weeks go by. For a month, we have had the ladder outside oh, of our house. Gosh, oh. bro. He finally shows back up. Yay. He lets me know he did not break his hand. That's good. Yay. He can't do the work today. Oh. But he'll be back in two weeks. And if I don't trust him, he'll leave me his passport. Oh, oh, so he doesn't leave yes, the country. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, de- I declined the passport, oh. but I did pay him another hundred dollars. Okay, so you're out with three hundred bucks for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And, you, and your gutters are still dirty. <laughs> yes. Oh god. So I think I'm being scammed, but it's a very long play and Yeah. He seems nice. Next time he sees you, he's going to be like, ma'am, it's terminal. Yeah. And I'm getting you to come back once a week for $100. I don't but know never what I do did. the job. Oh. So oh, poor Brooke. If anybody does gutters, just, I'm no. your sucker. Yeah. Show up at my door. Jose, what's been on your mind? Well, if you didn't know, uh, other than this job, I'm a video game streamer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I stream almost every night. And occasionally, I do raffles and giveaways. And this last time, I did a giveaway of almost $1,000 in Visa gift cards. Oh, wow. God. And it was really exciting, yeah, that's right? Cool. That's more money than we give away on our show. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> so anyway, the other morning, I was supposed to mail them out. And I go to grab them on my way out, on, on my way to work. And I'm like, oh, my God, where are they? Like, 
I can't find them anywhere. I thought you were going to tell us you didn't know how to mail things. No. Because that, to me, is well, the shock the in and of itself. the story's not over, Brooke. Uh-oh. Okay. No, but anyway. So I searched, like, everywhere. I'm like, where would I put them? Like, I yeah. adamantly put them by my wallet because they're very expensive, you yeah. know? And I look in all the drawers. I look in my room. I look in my car and the, everywhere. And I cannot find them. And the last thing that I remember is putting them on my kitchen counter. Okay. And then I was like, oh, my gosh. I threw away all my trash oh, no. and cleaned and went to the no. dumpster no. yesterday. No. Before I went to bed, yes. No. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars? A thousand. Almost a thousand dollars. Oh, like just my under one K, right? So then on the way in, I'm stressing out. I'm like, oh my God. Uh I, I what do I what do I do? Like, yeah, do who I do dump- I call? Do, do I go through yeah, the dumpster? That's what I was thinking. Do I dumpster dive? Or I could call my apartment manager and just be like, tell the city, don't take the garbages for like seven hours. I will be home in a little bit. Or do you yeah. can offer to do Brooke's gutters and she'll just throw money at you for <laughs> yeah, free. Yeah, Brooke, I need $850, All I need to do is set a ladder up and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm here. I'm all day. I, like, cannot focus because I'm, like, I ruined this. Now I have to go buy another $1,000 because it's yeah. not their fault yeah, that I yeah, lost yeah, them, yeah. their money. Brutal. And then I remembered, six years ago, I had to buy a new phone because I lost mine one night. Yeah. And I had to buy a new one also for around $1,000. And the old one I found after in my jacket pocket. Ah, and I remembered, wait a minute, wait a minute. This I've is a made, lesson learned. I have made this mistake. What jacket was I wearing yesterday? And then I remembered I went to lunch with you guys and I wore a fancy jacket for once. Yeah. So... I run home, I go into my jacket, and sure enough, it's a miracle. They're in my jacket pocket. Wow. You mean, All three of them. It's in your pocket. You the whole had time. them at lunch. I could have pickpocketed you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I guess it was in the transfer of me grabbing my keys and wallet and everything. I put them in my pocket and I totally so forgot about have them. Have you mailed them yet? Yes, they got mailed out. Okay. And I know one of one of the people already got one. Okay. So okay. you're okay. good to go. The other yeah. two, if they're lost, uh, don't come to me. All right. I don't <laughs> want any clothes. I barely got them to you. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? Well, so I'm not really a, a handy person. Okay, yeah. I'm the it's, same, bro. Handsy, yes. maybe. Yes. Yeah. But handy, not really yet. Yeah. And I know what you mean. I'm moving into this new house, so I have to get a lot of things done. Mm-hmm. So I dip my toe into the pond of big box hardware stores. Oh. The Home okay. Depots, the Lowe's. I'm finally getting deep into like that world and okay. what it's like. Now, knowing you, are you getting into the world of hiring people at Home Depot or going N- in and actually I'm buying- actually buying okay. stuff to use myself. Okay. And recently I went there to get a power drill. Okay. Ooh, your what, first what, power drill. You don't own one? I don't own one yet, so I wanted oh, to get my first power that's drill. That's so great. Don't judge him. I don't own one either. The huh. worker, I have an electronic screwdriver. <laughs> the worker in the power drill section walks over, says he can help me. Oh. Good. So I ask him about a drill. He pulls out his phone and starts Googling it. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> that's not what He's trying to expert. match the photo on his phone to the drill <laughs> that I'm pointing at <laughs> and reading the description. Five minutes later, he says... He's not sure. He's not sure. Oh. He, he can't help me. Hey, what brand are you going to go with? I mean, you got to choose your brand because the they... batteries go with all the other ones. Oh. I, I mean, look, all the same shit, I like shouldn't that. have assumed that the guy in the power drill area knows about power drills. Uh, you should. That yes, was actually. my bad. <laughs> That should be an assumption, Jeff. No, like they don't the, know. Like the person at the shoe store should oh my know God, about no. shoes. My dad hates everyone that works at the big box stores. Oh, He's like, really? oh, they're all idiots. Don't <laughs> listen to any of them. Later, I was looking for a flood lamp. Yeah. Nobody at nobody at the store knew what that was. Uh, a what? They were okay. like, for floods? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, for lamps. I don't know. <laughs> Ultimately, I decided to go simple. I'm asking, where are the mirrors in the store? Mirrors. Because okay. <laughs> you're a handy guy who needs to look well, at himself. I, I need to put up a mirror. And okay. the employee I don't know, says, but every time I go down that alley, I see myself. <laughs> the employee's like, mirrors? What what kind of mirrors? I'm like, <laughs> the ones you I don't look know the ones into. that like I can see myself in, those ones. And she's like, Oh uh, yeah, let me look those up. Uh, no. I get on the phone. It has to look in the phone where it yeah. is in the store. Yeah. So in the end, I just realized me, the least handy guy in the world, knows just as much, if not more, than the actual employees. 
at the hardware stores. Wow. Yeah. There's only one guy who ever knows anything there. Yeah. And yeah. you got to find him. And he doesn't always, even work there. Dude, probably not. Probably not. You wouldn't believe how much advice my dad gives when we go. Really? We spend half of our time him talking to other people to let him know a better way to do something. He's training the guys at yes. Lowe's. Like, yeah. let me help you. And the yeah. rest of the time hiring people to do Brooks gutters. Yeah. I wish you could come over. The text yeah. in. That's what's on our minds. Text in 78592 and tell us what's been on yours. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.